Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the feast day of San Carlos Borromeo, a faithful bishop and pastor in the church. In this celebration of the Mass, we ask that like St. Charles, we may be able to bring Jesus back in our lives so that we could faithfully follow him. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people, we ask, O Lord, the spirit with which you fill the bishop, St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed and by conforming herself to the likeness of Christ, may show his face to the world, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the living and the dead. Why then do you judge your brother or sister? Or you, why do you look down on your brother or sister? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bend before me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then, each of us shall give an account of himself to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. One thing I ask the Lord, this I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Your words, O oh Lord, give joy to my heart. Your teaching is light to my heart. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it. And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman, having ten coins and losing one, would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, 
She calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel reading today contains an imagery of the mission of Jesus. Ang atin pong ebanghelyo ngayon ay naglalaman ng mga larawan upang maisalarawan ang misyon ni Jesus sa kanyang pagpunta sa ating mundo. We see in the gospel that Jesus used in the parable the image of looking for the lost sheep looking for the lost coin. And precisely, this is the mission of Jesus, to look for those who are lost. And not only looking for them, but bringing them back to the Father. We will see in the parable that the shepherd did not just look for the sheep. He searched for the sheep and he brought back the sheep. The woman in the parable did not just search for the coin. She found the coin and brought back the coin home. The mission of Jesus is to bring us back to God, to bring us back to the Father. And not only bringing us back to the Father, but bringing the Father back to our lives. Ang misyon po ni Jesus ay hindi lamang ibalik tayo sa Diyos, kundi ibalik din ang Diyos sa buhay natin. This is the mission proclaimed by St. Paul in our first reading today in his letter to the Romans. In our first reading, he reminded the Christians in Rome, none of us lives for oneself and no one dies for oneself. Because if we live, he said, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So then he said, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. We belong to the Lord. And St. Paul explains to us the deep connection between the life of us and God. Sinasabi po sa ating unang pagbasa ngayon, na ang misyon ni Jesus ay hindi lamang po ibalik tayo sa Diyos, kundi ibalik din ang Diyos sa buhay natin. The mission of Jesus is not just bringing us back to God, but bringing God back into our lives. This day, my dear brothers and sisters, we are celebrating the feast day of San Carlos Borromeo. This saint is dear to us because Father Reggie and I are both alumni of San Carlos Seminary in Guadalupe, Makati. And today is the feast day of the patron of our seminary. Father Reggie belongs to Batch 2004, I belong to batch 2013. He even became my professor 
in the seminary. St. Charles Borromeo was a good bishop. He was an effective bishop. He was a good administrator. He called many councils and synods in the diocese. He was able to administer well the diocese. Sikat si San Carlos sapagkat marunong na obispo, matalino, magaling magsalita, magaling mamuno sa kanyang archdiocese. But St. Charles was a good bishop not just because he has skills, but because he prayed. Si San Carlos po ay magaling na obispo, hindi lamang dahil sa talino niya, hindi lamang dahil sa kakayanan niya, hindi lamang dahil magaling siya na administrador. Magaling na obispo si San Carlos sapagkat nagdarasal siya. Bawat kilos niya, bawat desisyon niya, bawat gagawin niya, nagbabasa siya ng salita ng Diyos. Nagninilay siya ng salita ng Diyos. Araw-araw sa kanyang pagdiriwang ng banal na misa, nakatutok siya sa kanyang pananalangin. When God is in our life, then we become more effective. Kaya nga ang misyon ni Jesus ay hindi lamang ibalik tayo sa Diyos, kundi ibalik din ang Diyos sa buhay natin. My dear brothers and sisters, if we want to move forward from this pandemic, if we want to renew our lives after this pandemic, then we must learn how to bring back God into our lives. Please pray for uh, all of us priests, especially the alumni of San Carlos Seminary. We call ourselves Carlistas because we are uh, alumni of San Carlos Seminary. Please pray that priests can help in the mission of Jesus in bringing back the people to God and bringing back God into the lives of people. Amen. Please stand. The Lord is the shepherd who knows each one of us by name. Let us offer our prayers to God trusting in his personal love for us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, in your great love, answer us. Lord, in your great love, answer us, that the church may be a living sign of genuine concern and dedicated care for those who are rejected by society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in, in your, your great love, love answer us. us that those who have drifted away from the paths of righteousness may hear the voice of Christ, the Good Shepherd, calling them home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in, in your, your great, great love, answer us, that young people who have wandered into vice, crime, and prohibited drugs may find true self and dignity and return to the house of God through forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your great love, answer us, that all who suffer and are tried by sickness may realize that they are loved by God through the care and attention we give them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your great love, answer us, that the dead may pass through the gate of sheepfold and rejoice with the shepherd and guardian of their souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in, in your, your great, great love, answer us. 
Most gentle Father, you guide us along the right path. Hear our prayers and bless each one of us in the way you know best. May we follow wherever you lead us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offering placed on your altar in commemoration of San Carlos, and grant by the power of this sacrifice that as you made him an attentive pastor, outstanding in the merit of his virtues, so you may make us abound in good fruit by our works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of San Carlos, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy holy, 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 Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Charles Borromeo and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made San Carlos faithful in ministry and fervent in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Taong biyaya, salamat Panginoon sa iyong ulang. Misyong kalok sa ating puso, 
aming sarili ay aming handog. Laging tapat at laging tugon, naririto handa kami, Panginoon.